coach Pat Noonan. Coach, if you'd just like to start with uh, your thoughts on tonight's result. Yeah, certainly a frustrating night and, and disappointing in terms of how how we played and um, you know the score line and the, just the overall um, I think discipline and decision making that led to a really challenging uh, game against a very good team. So you know credit to Columbus, they were better than us and they deserved to win. Get to questions. We'll start here with Laurel. Do you chalk that up at all to? I know you guys were obviously training during that time, but having mm -hmm. that break, did that impact you guys at all? And I don't think so. I think, um, you know, if, if you look at, I guess, their setup and, and just the way we were pressing, you know, that starts with me. We got some of those things wrong just in terms of, you know, how we were trying to get the ball and knowing that the team that's very good with the ball, if you miss your moments, you're in trouble. But um, we had too many flybys, too many guys that didn't uh, – didn't set their feet when they were going to the ball, and, and they were able to dribble out of pressure. And once that first moment's broken, then they have the ability to move into um, you know positions to really cause you some some uh, um, some trouble. And so uh, that was really poor on the night against a good team with the ball and, and good individual players um, that are good under pressure. And then just with the ball, I mean, I think in the first half we had four or five moments in transition with a lot of space in the in the decisions and the lack of uh, quality we had was, you know, that hurt us. And we never allowed us to really move forward as a unit. It was three attacking and, and the rest trying to play catch up. But, um, you know, we never got into any kind of, uh, you know, attacking um, structure that allowed us to, to move the ball in their half of the field. So, um, you know, I thought there were some goals out there to get back into the game in the first half. But then in the second half, we... You know, I just think we struggled all around, and our decision making on the ball was really poor. And I know it's still Aaron's been here; it's mm -hmm. still only been what, like four games now, or yeah. so. Uh, is it? Would you have thought maybe that attack? It seems like they're still a little disconnected. Is that to be expected, or would you expect that to be a little bit further? Or no, we'd expect today? it to be better. I, maybe today was just uh, you know, all around poor performance. Um, and it wasn't, you know, just Aaron. I think, you know, there's better from him. We know that. So, you know, it's, it's conversations. It's continuing to, to look at the games and, and training and see how we can be uh, more disciplined and better positioned to uh, uh, to get our, you know, our forwards in front of goal um, without having to, to sprint, you know, 30, 40 yards to make a play. But um, I imagine, you know, moments like this will help, um, you know, our group. Uh, recognize, you know, when we're off and when we're not uh, doing simple things right, the game becomes very difficult. Go Pat. Pat, you guys have been good in a short sample size of losses of picking yourselves mm -hmm. up and bouncing back uh, the way you would want to this yeah. year. Um, is that, I don't know, what it, I mean, this Sunday match versus Saturday, it's a tighter turnaround to yeah. a midweek game. Um, what does that process of turning the page look like? This time. Well, there's there's no uh, better moment or more important moment to to be able to put you know a poor uh, showing in in the past quickly and, and focus on um, you know the next couple of days of prep to to play another very important game. So, like you said, we've <clears throat> we've responded in good ways before, but um, you know now will be the. Um, the biggest challenge in terms of doing that because you lose to a rival and now you have a cup semifinal. So I'm confident that they'll respond in a good way. And just in terms of, um, I know you said, you, you, I'm paraphrasing your response to Laurel's first mm -hmm. question, but you said you wouldn't put this down to um, the layoff from matches. Um, but just out of curiosity, I wonder if you would, you guys had your normal four day preparation for this match, yeah. so I assume you would not have done anything different over the break? No. You know, the, the, the week yeah. prior was smaller numbers, so yeah. uh, there was a couple things that we looked at just with those numbers in terms of <clears throat> mainly the press, but um, no, there's you know, there's no excuses. We, we had a poor performance, and that you know certainly starts with me in, in the preparation period, so we'll look at that and, and try to um, you know make sure uh, that it doesn't have a domino effect into uh, you know What's to come? Go to Carter. 
Pat, through the middle two thirds part of that game, Roman was really able to keep mm -hmm. the team kind of in, in the game in a certain sense. How important is it to have him keep those opportunities coming that the game doesn't end or early, so to speak, by having him make his what, six saves tonight? Yeah, when when you're not playing well and and teams are creating, you you rely on your goalkeeper to make saves, and Roman did that tonight. So, um, you know, I think he was one of the few that had a, a strong showing. Uh, any update on, I know we'll probably know more as we get closer to Wednesday, but mm -hmm. any update on Yerson? I know a lot of people are, yeah. you know, hoping that there would be some way to get him in today, yeah. but... No uh, update. You know, we'll yeah. know more when we get in uh, the building tomorrow. All right, last one from you, Pat. Pat, is it, uh, I don't know, and I, I believe that you guys were able to buckle down and focus on this crew match, even mm -hmm. with, you know, uh, the circus that's coming midweek. Is it any kind of a relief now? To not have to juggle two really behemoth matches and just be able to focus on the one. There's no relief. There's no relief after a performance like that. Okay. So you try to to use you know some of the things that we saw tonight in a, in a negative way um, to have you know a better uh, overall team performance on Wednesday. But uh, no, I don't feel great about tonight. So um, it's not easier at the moment. Thank you very much, Pat. Good. Thank you.